What's up, it's Naz and hello everyone, welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Ah, I didn't intend to play this game. I never intended to play this game. From the offset, all I saw from it was, oh great, this is gonna be some more bland torture porn where cute girls get into deadly situations. Where have we seen that before? Suffice to say, I'm a huge fan of Higurashi when they cry, Madoka, Adaful Boyfriend, and well, we have yet another one of these, a deconstructing a genre story where cute things obviously die horrible deaths. You'd think that after the letter we'd be tired of seeing our waifus get killed, but here we are now! Whatever, let's start a game. Let's see where this goes. Let's put in our name. Yes! Are we gonna be a guy or a girl? Do we get to play as any of these waifus? I have no clue, I just wanna watch them all die. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Uh-huh. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it's just the kind that works because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, I really don't want to make these voices. Is there... Are there voice settings? Okie dokie, I guess you guys have to suffer through me making girl noises again. Ha, <laughs> ha. Damn it, I should really voice my own hentai. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Right. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you, Baka. It's not like I wanted to walk to school with you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Oh god, one of these tropes. That's meanness. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. Ah uh, yes, the oblivious main character who doesn't pay attention to childhood friends' obvious feelings. But you did wait for me after all, hee <laughs> hee! I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. God damn it, if you turn out to be the killer, I'm dropping your head off like a fly. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Nez, have we decided on a club to join yet? I would not like to join the murder club, please! Or are we going to join the Doki Doki Literature Club, I wonder? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs, like any, you know, anime protagonist. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you wanted to join a club this year. Did I? Maybe I was drunk off my mind. Maybe you inserted something into my drink, who the fuck are you? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Ah yes, we could totally be this main character as if he doesn't have any personality whatsoever. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I'd die the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Hell no, I don't trust you. I heard everyone in this game is a fucking murderer. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. If only to temper her anger. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Huh, of course. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori. 
Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. How long were you spacing out for? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. What is your club? Let me guess. The Doki Doki Literature Club? Band credits! Okay. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Oh god damn it. Flushing, really? Okay, fine, we'll go along with this. No what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yes? There is no way I'm going to your club. Ah, meanie. As I twiddle my fingers and act all sundere. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Fuck you, you're not taking me away from my 2D waifus. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? It's not like I like you or anything, baka. Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Atsuki made cupcakes and everything! <laughs> right. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I'd go with the latter. I do not trust this face at all. I let out a long sigh. I know stop by for a cupcake, okay? Oh god, we're being bribed with cupcakes? I would at least go for maybe one pipi touch. Give me one pipi touch and maybe I'll join your club. <laughs> Yay, let's go! No pipi touch? Fine. Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. God damn it. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Huh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club, it's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Ah, Nez, what a surprise! Okay, how do we give them voices? Let's give the pink-haired lolly a small annoying voice. Let's give the auburn-haired girl a nice modest voice. And let's give Miss Opai Purplehead over there a nice calm and soothing voice. Welcome to the Literature Club. All words escape me in this situation. I'm surrounded by girls. As if I wasn't already in a co-ed classroom in a co-ed school. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. That's how you reel them in. That's how you bait in all the boys to kill. What are you looking at? Wait, no, we have to make her voice more annoying. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry, why are we apologizing to the little munchkin? That is justice though. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D -d don't say anything like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Nez. Monica smiles sweetly. Okay. I don't trust your smile at all. You have the eyes of a killer. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year, so I guess it's kind of knowing each other. We're acquaintances. Sure, why not? Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, maybe a bit murderous. Basically completely out of my league. What if she likes anime? Maybe she might not be out of your league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... disconcerting. 
You too, Monica. Come sit down, Ness. We made room for you at the table so you could sit next to me or Monica. I'll get to the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Huh, suddenly reminding me of Nekopara, which also reminds me the OVA is coming out this December. Well, whatever, back to the game. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet, though. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? God damn it, is this gonna be a harem? Well, I know it obviously is gonna be a harem, because we're the only male character in this game, but are they gonna take turns killing me? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor, I wonder if she made it herself. Are there people in this cupcake? This cupcake is probably made with people, or I mean, this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> made them for you or anything? God fucking damn it! Somehow for a game that's deconstructing a dating sim genre, this seems to be... Self-conscious. Yeah, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. Oh god, she's so Sunnida. She's in full Sunnida mode right now. But not for, you know, you, dummy. Right, right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. So you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, does the hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... Have these incredibly beautiful girls never talked to a guy before? God fucking damn it. I believe in you who believes in me, I guess. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, cupcakes? That's it, really. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Fucking beta, tell her the truth. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? <laughs> As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the other major clubs. Weren't you already leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Right, you seem the most pure out of everyone. I'm saying you're the murderer. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Wow, she has him on her leash. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. Or were there more and did they just disappear mysteriously? It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. 
Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll all do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Um, okay. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up to their level of enthusiasm about literature. All I love are my manga! And my 2D waifus. So, Nez, what kind of things do you like to read? Hentai? Doshinjis? Porn? Well, um... Considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Yep, precisely. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh, don't tell me she's also a manga reader. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Do you like reading, you know? Yuri? Well, let's see. Or maybe she likes BL. Oh no, she likes BL? Does she also like killing stalking? Boys and girls, do not read that. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh, you must like reading, I don't know, Sword Art Online? Okay, obligatory jab at SAO done. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that from Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you can say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Yeah, this game is definitely self-aware that it's actually a horror game, because the devs are practically laying out for us in the first 20 minutes. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute, says the cute little girl. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Um, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. God damn it, they're really having and cheesing it up in the first few minutes. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Um, uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. 
That way everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help all of us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of our club. Isn't that right, Nez? Don't let me into all four of you! Y'all just want to kill me! Take my balls, cut them off! Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Mm hmm, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori might have convinced me to stop by because of cupcakes, but I never made any decision. Even though you have an extremely cute lolly girl, I will not be persuaded. I will not. Ah, oh, but it's so tempting. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought, oh, Nez, you all, oh god damn it, Patag, come on Patag, you can't, you can't let them bait you in like this, not with the puppy dog eyes, I, I'm defenseless against these girls, and that's how you end up dead. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's something like this? You jerk off first, and then you decide your decision, because you're just horny. That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful and murderous girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I will sell my soul to the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. And that makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club! Ah, uh, great. Ah, <laughs> thanks, I guess. Welcome to the Death Club! Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment! Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share! Monica looks over me once more. As I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, okay. Can I really impress the class star Monic with my mediocre writing skills? You can impress her with your dick, maybe, if she hasn't cut it off first. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Me for different reasons. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as you and Nasuki clean up their food. Hey Nez, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will soon find me. What could possibly go wrong? And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Um, sure, okay. Sunny, pure, family, chocolate, kitty, joy, climax. Okay, let's choose Climax. Entropy, Melody, Kiss, Anime, Judgment, Parfait. Um, hmm, let's say Judgment. <laughs> okay, Dark, Skipping, Cage, Meager, Cloud? What kind of poem is this? This doesn't even closely resembles any haiku. Incapable, Graveyard, <laughs> okay, Graveyard, Whirlwind, Uncontrollable, Extreme, Secretive, Secretive, Papa, ha Massacre, M Massacre, <laughs> Covet, let's choose Covet, Infinite, Summer, Kawaii, Cry, Daydream, Doki Doki, <laughs> Tears, Music, Ribbon, Beauty, Comfort, ta Inferno, oh my, Death, Wonderful, Insight, Rain, Unrequited, and Wrath, what, what, <laughs> what kind of poems are we making? 
Okay, will this attract the most murderous one of all of them? I'm not so sure, but it probably does. Depression. Crimson. Fireflies. Fireflies? Philosophy. Determination. Treasure. Heaven sent. What? Precious. Rain cloud. Uncanny. Marriage. Pleasure? Unstable. Misfortune. Headphones. Frightening. After image. Horror. Giggle. Play. Clumsy. Bunny. Disarray. Dream. Swimsuit. Lust. Essence, memories, twirl, imagination, prayer, effulgent, vivid, vivacious, bouncy, <laughs> bouncy, blanket, vibrant, contamination. What games ending? <laughs> what are we? What's with these words? Why are they so like this? Socks, fear, hopeless. What the fuck? We've chosen so many depressing words. Let's choose marshmallow. Lazy, incongruent, broken promise? Ah, pain? Yes, we'll choose pain? Sure, why not? Ah, scars? <laughs> Tenacious, unrestrained, landscape, disaster, heart, bit sticky? Okay, we'll end this form with sticky. What kind of fucking form are we making?